Welcome back to another video of Grand Cross Age of Titans. Again, thank you so much to them for sponsoring this series on this channel. Today, we've got another incredible video that will hopefully help you be a little bit better at the game. I can show you guys some of the things that I've learned and just talk about, honestly, the fun uh, and just the good stuff that I've gotten out of it. Let's get into it. So right off the bat, when it comes to the game, the biggest thing for you guys, if you're starting new or continuing, is resources. Resources are going to help you level up everything. They're gonna help you upgrade things when you need to, all of that kind of stuff. It's very, very important to make sure that you're on and collecting stuff. Next, I would say uh, to-dos. Level up your units, okay? So as you get your um, archers, your cavalry, and your ground infantry troops, it's gonna be important for you guys to be leveling those up. But one thing that I will say with that also is, as you unlock your heroes, you're gonna want to level up the troops that work best with those heroes that you've put all of your resources into. So right here we have Claudia, and you can say that she works really well with infantry. So that means if I plan on using Claudia a lot, then I need to make sure that my infantry units are up as well. Um, same thing over here with Numa. Numa works really well with Calvary. So upgrading Calvary will help not only her out, but will also help out Valkyrie, which is one of the other champions that a lot of you guys are going to get early on. And then we've got Melaby, and uh, Melaby works really, really well with archers. So obviously, I've got some good ones for all of them. And so depending on what I'm doing and which kind of champions I'm working with the most, that's where I'm going to put a lot of my effort into upgrading those troops. But obviously you also wanna have things somewhat spread out. So I would say if you go um, with infantry, then you're gonna wanna go with archers as well to get a little bit of uh, range. If you go cavalry, then you're wanna, gonna wanna go archers also just to get that range in there again. And that's gonna help you out a lot. Now, um, one of the biggest things as you start unlocking and playing the game is gonna be um, opening up all of these areas that you can see are clear for me. As you open those up, you're gonna unlock stuff and you're gonna be able to push out here into these fields, which then you're gonna be able to unlock as well. And then you can see all of this over here that I have not unlocked yet. So as I level up and play more, I'm gonna be able to unlock those areas and that's gonna be incredibly important. Um, why don't we go ahead and just hop into the Tower of Distress. It's one of my favorite things to do in the game and I would encourage you guys, once you unlock this, like go in here because not only is it gonna help you with your strategies and your tactics in the game, but it's also gonna give you lots of resources and stuff uh, that you're gonna need too. So I think what I wanna do though is have two down here, okay? So yeah, we'll go in with these two. I think that that sounds good with the archers over there. Um, maybe I move them here though. And then right here, we'll go cavalry. So we'll throw this in and we'll go here with the cavalry. So they'll kind of be able to hold that down a little bit. And then back here, I'm gonna, no, up front we'll go in with her, yeah. So we'll place that and then that's gonna do some work for us and we'll go ahead and start here. So she's gonna go right there. We're gonna have them go here. We're gonna have them attack right here. And we're gonna, wow, we are gonna take an incredible amount of damage up there at the top. Um, but we're also gonna be able to sneak in back here, I think, to, uh, to do some work. As long as we can just like, do some pretty good damage up there that I think will end up being okay. Um, she's down up at the top. Calvary is going to come in and do some work. I'm going to need my archers to reset here in just a second as well. Nice. So after that goes down, we go over here. They're going to go right there. And I'll go ahead and do this now. And I think we'll be okay. You need to be attacking over there. And you are for me. Good stuff. Now we go over here. And I'm gonna have them work on the kind of boss in the back. Uh oh. Can we take out the people in the front too with that? I think we can. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so close. We almost need to focus on this group whenever we spawn in. We're doing less damage than they're doing. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna back out of this one. So here's what I think we need to do. I love the fact that I can go into these multiple times and just kind of practice and figure out what's going on. So this is who I need to be attacking right here. Um, and that is who we are going to go in. And it looked like they went up top first. So now after seeing that, we're gonna go and put them in the back. We're gonna go cavalry in the front here. And then we are going to go with uh, just infantry right here to do some work. Okay, and we're gonna work our way down to uh, them at the bottom. 
So they're going to attack right there. We're going to go cavalry right here. And we're going to go archers right here. And see what we can do. Now we're going to pull them over here because it looks like we're already doing a really good amount of damage, actually. Pull them over here. We got to take them out. We're doing good in the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and let them rearrange here. You got to be working on them. All right, they are. Good. And then once they go down, now we go over here with this. Yeah. I need them to work, do work right here. And once we take out the boss, there we go. Okay, so we just had to switch it up a little bit. I think I can actually go right here. Yeah, so I didn't even need to go down there. Nice, that was what we need to do. Just take them out of the beginning. Now we're good to go. Let's go. See, then that was way easier. It's way easier. So make sure that you guys come in here into this tower of distress and just like put in work with it because it's going to give you great resources, which obviously is super important in the game. So definitely make sure you're exploring and doing all that kind of stuff. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is how I enjoyed doing PVP stuff with my um, with my tribe here. So or with my clan, we're here with uh, tribe, obviously. OJ's in here. OJ's actually hanging out outside right now. That's hilarious. Um, and if I'm honest, like being able to play this with your friends on a Discord call or anything like that is it's just a blast because you can work on it together. You can head over to the to the command center. You can head over. You can grab the gates. You can do all this kind of stuff together and i mean that's what it's all about right like we love doing things with community and, and i showed this to you guys before like we can zoom out we can see the gates that we've taken and everything which is awesome we've been able to kind of control a little bit of this area down here um but it's really cool to zoom way out and come up here and see like the potential that you have with some of your friends, like some of the alliances and things that you can build, all of these people all next to each other. You can find some friends, you can join clans like this and just make it a whole lot of fun. So PVP in the game and, and uh, collecting, beating walls, getting all these gates and everything is a lot of fun. And I know that a lot of us jump into video games because we wanna play with friends and the community and all that kind of stuff within these is just an absolute blast. Not only can you do things with them, but obviously they can help you um, level up as well. So we can come in here to our alliance and I can uh, go to research. Like you can help each other out leveling up things and just having that in your game as well is huge because it helps you progress faster than if you were just doing it by yourself. And the biggest thing when it comes to these castle wars uh, is being online at the same time as people and chatting and being able to all send your units and just like be able to visibly see units going to the same thing like it's just a cool thing to see just hordes of your units and your alliances units all working in one direction to go and capture a gate and work towards getting the castle it just makes it so much fun again like i was saying when i played with all the tribe guys um here we all hopped onto a call and it was incredibly fun just laughing and taking things and conquering stuff and that's the way to do it honestly like that's the way to play these castle games working together and um, all of you obviously working on your uh, champions too and figuring out like okay if we're gonna work together as an alliance then some of us should probably have uh, champions that are focused on one thing and then others on another so what I did was obviously take my legendary um, champions that I was able to unlock from just playing the game and those are the ones that I focused on first and then I found the ones that work with the uh, synergy as well. So again, being able to go Calvary and um, Calvary right here with Numa and like doing things like that. So talking to your Alliance, figuring out uh, what champions people have, which ones they're upgrading, as well as whether they're focused on Calvary or whatever. And you can focus on the other things and that way you can um, all work toward the same thing to be able to uh, capture castles and all that kind of stuff. Another really cool thing that you can do to help each other level up is to attack these monster fortresses as well. You can see that I can rally and I can set a time. So if you know certain people are going to be on at a certain time or whatever, you can set that. So if someone's at work or not able to get on, you can set it for 60 minutes from now. And then you can send your troops over here. And as you can see, these are acquirable rewards. So you can get lots of stuff in here. And as you level up and you're able to take these out, it's just going to help the alliance together, like build up together and then be able to 
uh, not only fight these PvE things, but being able to move together as an alliance to fight more PvP stuff and take out other people. So again, just at ending, the way that I would say uh, you can best progress in the game is obviously join an alliance. Like biggest thing right here, I can ask for assistance from alliance members. It helps you level up quickly um, and then clear out all of these areas. Because as you do that, you're going to be able to progress. You're going to be able to uh, unlock more things that are going to help you level up your champions, which then helps you be able to beat bigger bosses. And always have somebody out fighting as well. So if you're trying to level up some lower level units, you can go over here to the search bar and I can look for, let's say, a uh, level eight monster. I can search for that. I can attack right here. I can set my troops and I can figure out who I want to go out. And if I wanted it to be a specific uh, unit that I wanted to level up. I could take one of these lower level ones right here and march over with that. It's going to take a minute. And then because I sent that level one over here, uh, as it fights with a higher level champion, it's going to level up too. So you can send that higher level champion in there to help you level up your lower ones. And while I'm doing this, it's just important to know that I can always be searching for this kind of stuff. I can be searching for cropland, logging camps, all that kind of stuff. I can search for, uh, that's the level eight that I'm already on. So we can come over here. Let's say we go to, uh, maybe go to a level 10. We search for that. We've got one fairly close to the base here. So we can attack this. We can set our troops over here and I can see who I want to throw at it. We can go uh, in with, um, let's go in here and then we can send another lower level that we want to level up. Say this one right here and we can march 23 seconds. And in doing that, you're constantly having things out fighting, uh, leveling up, and then that's gonna help you again with all those PVP battles. So the PVE stuff is what's gonna help you perform best on the PVP side of things as well. So we just took out that one right there, and then we can go up here and we can see that this one is just now starting to fight. Um, but if we go and check our mail, we can see all of uh, the stuff from our fights um, also. But if I head back over here, while that other uh, champion is fighting up there, we can go in here and we can see now that because of that one little fight there that took no time at all, I went up a level from level 10 up to level 11. So I can come in here and I guess we'll go with increase marching speed. Yep. And then now this one right here has the same thing. Level that up and then we can head back out to the world and we can see where we're fighting. And then after we're done with this fight, you can see that they're coming back. That might have been who I just uh, leveled up. No. So once they get back, I'll be able to level them up as well, which again is going to help us out with that PvP stuff in the future. Now you'll see as we come back in and arrive back to our base, we can go in here and we can see if we're going to be able to upgrade. And it looks like we are right here going from a level one up to a level nine, which is crazy. So that's a huge thing for you guys as you unlock these new um, champions is to get them leveled up by sending them out and fighting, talking to everybody in your alliance to figure out which ones you think you should level up so that you can have an advantage and just keep them out there fighting and doing their thing. Hope that you guys have enjoyed this series. I've been having fun playing this game, uh, especially whenever uh, all the other tribe guys are on playing. It's been an absolute blast. Let me know down below if y'all are playing as well. And uh, yeah, hope you learned a lot and hope you're able to level up and uh, take on some other alliances. See you guys in the next one.